Hey guys, it's here. Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we're one of Melody's most favorite places to pronounce in all these United States. Val Cruces. Valley Cruces. Valley Cruces. I like Val Cruces. We go with it. I don't yeah. think Yankees had. As long as I don't say Valley I. As long as you don't say that, you won't get anybody fighting you. But yeah. This is the original mast general store. Mm -hmm. Wildly popular. As you can see, there's a ton of traffic coming through here. And, and this, the back parking lot looks packed too. Yeah, it is. And then they have an annex store. Yeah. Which will pass by. Yep. We'll show you that too, and we'll show you a little bit of scenes from the road because it's a beautiful fall day. And yes. You'll want to see this, so stick around. Yes. All right, we thought we'd show you a little shot of. I'm gonna let you do this, Melody, since you love the name of this town so much. Oh, you're giving me a hard time. <laughs> Can you take a stab at it? Val Cruces or Valley Cruces? I call it Valley Cruces. I've heard it called Val Cruces. I've heard it called all kinds of things. But don't you dare call it Valier Cruces, like the actual Latin word, because no. you, they, they will tear you up. People you will tear you way. up. <laughs> I found out the hard way. I think I left emotional we scars for <laughs> We already talked about that on our folklore of the demon dog of a Val Cruces. If you haven't checked out, video. go back and watch that, because that's a good story. Yes, it is. And we'll talk a little bit about it here, but We're going to we, go right down the road where it was at. Yes, and we mostly just thought that we would show you this little unincorporated community. Yeah, it's just so, outside of Boone, stone throw. Yes, just outside of Boone. Um, it is an unincorporated community, so not very big at all. Um, Val Crucis is actually Latin for the Veil of the Cross. Does that sound right to you? Maybe, Veil of the Cross. Um, I assume it's the Valley of Crosses, but uh, I guess I bet you're right, Valley of Crosses. And maybe that's what it means. I also thought that um, it. I read somewhere else that it meant something about rivers connecting in the form of a cross. I don't know, actually, but anyways, um, in August of 1847, a, a Episcopal missionary. Uh, traveled through here and he noticed the um, rivers I guess conjoining in what looked like a cross and that's where the name come in. Makes sense. Yes. Val, Val Crucis. Val Crucis. And of course in Appalachia we love to change words around. Yes. Make and them make them our own. Yes. So that's how it become Val or Valley Crucis. So, this is also home of the original Mast General Store, which we'll come up on here before too long. Yes. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, too. But mm -hmm. right now, I'll just ch check out this scenery, man. This is it's gorgeous little. It's very colors. pretty. Red, yellow, yes. orange, green. Panorama. Yes. Or somebody will come back and comment. It's Panorama. Well, and actually, I had saved a couple of different history things, and another thing said that the Episcopal missionary's name was Levi Ops, and maybe there was a couple of different missionaries, and they kind of um, argue over who actually founded the town. But anyways, it was an Episcopal missionary, whichever way that you hear it. And they, this Levi Ops, he created the Easter Chapel, which was the first Episcopal church in the area. And seen a few little Episcopal churches through here, so it must be you can kind of tell that it was settled by you know Episcopal people. It's past the Jerky uh, Outpost. Yes. So right up your alley in it. Yes. I'm talking about churches, and you're talking about oh, no. for Jerky. It shows where your out. head is. Yeah. And the church that is the. That's beautiful right there. Right? It's pretty. I'm the church that is in the legend of the demon dog, um, it's an Episcopal church. It's That's St. John's. John's. It's yeah. It used to be, now we'll see today, if it used to be left open, you just go in there and, yeah. and worship or whatever. And I was in there before, a few years ago, and, and I, it just mm -hmm. gave me the willies. I think that's great, though. I wish that churches would keep open like that. There's a lot of old, pretty, pretty houses through here. I hope that on the video it picks them up. Um, but 
it you can tell that it's an old community and they've kept that up instead of demolishing everything that's what i like about these towns versus and this is certainly far away from coal country you know you see a lot more of the old farmhouses and farming type yeah and a lot of the structures remain pretty much as they were exactly basically aged but i do believe if i'm not mistaken right around the corner is the mast annex which is not the original well, the mass general store is on down here mm -hmm. it is and it looks like it might be kind of crowded yes. they got signs out for ice cream and candy um pretty good little crowd there too there's a valley cruces united methodist, methodist church but right on down the road we'll see the original mast general store There's an elementary school to the right. Um, if you blink, you miss it. But cute little school. Yes, and now here is the original. And still the best to me, Mass General Store. There's one in Boone that I've gone to too, but it's down, I mean not Boone, but Asheville. It's downtown and just is not as authentic like this thing is. There's it's also a, a store, River Cross, beside of the General Store. So yes. Parking? There was parking around back there too. It's pretty crowded, but I may try to get into one of those stores and take a look there. Oh no, I'm lost. Tempted to get one. That's your wine. Ginger ale. safe was used for many years here in the store before it was stolen on November 22nd, 1964. It's physically removed and broken into. The safe was found sometime later by hunters in Burke County. Wow. Several men were apprehended, but none were convicted. Mm -hmm. 
Several men apprehended, but now more convicted of the theft. Hope you enjoyed that look at the Mass General Store. We couldn't help but stop. Yes. We tried to resist, but we, yes. we couldn't do it. Look at that pumpkin pie. Wow, they got a lot. And they have a corn maze. How cute. Yeah. They still got a lot of pumpkins left. A lot of pumpkins. Pumpkin, yeah. We still got a lot of driving left, so let's get on the road. Mm-hmm. This is a pretty little drive, though. It is. We had some interesting experience one time down here at night, didn't we? We did. We we aren't there yet, though. So let's say that well, for when we forget. get to that don't part. Don't forget. Oh, you would never forget. I don't think so. No. Okay, okay. All right. You're the boss. This is this where it was? No. Are you sure? No, we turned. Yeah, we had Valley to turn. Up here. Okay, yeah. So what's the difference in Valley K and Valley Crucis? I don't know. I thought I thought Valley K might be a housing or something. It is still part of Valley Crucis, I guess yeah, so. I think so. I think so too, but Well there's some light, a lot of good things to see out here in there, so uh, There is, it's just a pretty job. Yeah. Can't be down here in a while. Yeah. If any of our viewers have been through here, been to the Bass General Store, or anything like that, tell us about your experiences yeah. in the comments, too. I'm surprised it stays busy there, doesn't it? Like it just yeah, there. it really does. And these rivers are beautiful. I wish that there was really a good place to stop and overlook those, but, you know, you really can't without um, stopping in somebody's yard. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I'll let you tell the story of the lights here in a second. Cause yes, is of what happened. You don't want to miss this story. Yeah, you turn here at Mass Gap. I kept forgetting the name of that. Mm -hmm. Except it's been a while since I've been down here. So, it may not have seen it, but there's a sign that says Valley K to the right, Island in the Sky. Island in the Sky. That, that is Valley K. That ain't how it goes. Okay. <laughs> so, down on this road, um, one night we were coming through here and to the left on those mountains over there. We were trying to creep ourselves out and go to this church out here at the night and trying to see the hellhound or <laughs> talk. And it sounds crazy as I say it, but you know, of course we taking it with a grain of salt. But anyways, on the mountains to the left over there, we saw like the brown mountain light phenomenon. Yeah. I'm and seeing it during the day, I'm like, I don't see how that could be anything like um a campsite or anything like that but there were like flickering lights that would kind of come and go like lightning bugs but obviously very much larger and it um, it looked like it almost looked like you could see somebody walking through with lanterns yeah and did it, it not it did and it was exactly like what anything we've ever read about the brown mountain lights was yeah. the same thing like there's theory of I mean, old um like it was haunted by railroad workers with their lanterns and i've read that i've read like civil war battle yeah. stuff i've read like native american attacks I've read all kinds of stuff and i've also read some of the brown mountain lights almost look like um fireballs shooting out or something but this looked like someone walking through the woods with lanterns but it was probably 10 different spots all spread out along the mountains wasn't it yeah and it's what threw us off it was just like you would park we parked and just watched and it would move and it would also flicker and it wasn't like i mean part of you think okay maybe it's a flame or so you know because no. it moved it moved physically no. moved it physically moved and it would kind of go in and out like and it, completely vanish and then reappear and this is the first time we've been back to see in the daytime yeah the housing and, and i thought okay maybe there's a huge subdivision and a bunch of weird stuff up there no yeah. Not at all. There's no way. But, but even then, it didn't look like window lights or anything like that. It's just mountains. Yeah. And I looked, and we're actually about an hour away from Brown Mountain. So, it's not the same place, but it's the same kind of phenomenon. Yeah, there's no question. And they've, they've never proven how it occurs or what is going on with that. But I swear that's what we saw. It had to have been the same kind of phenomenon. Well, there was right? two of us, and we were unmedicated and un uh, alcohol induced. <laughs> yeah. So. 
we were stone sober and not looking yeah. for it. It wasn't like we were going looking for anything like that. Yeah. And not saying it is something paranormal. I mean, I have no idea, but I know that that was real. It was very cool to experience. And you can see how people would mention, I mean, that's why it's a big deal is, it, it is a big deal. When you see it in person, it's really very uh, captivating. Yeah, it is. I mean, mesmerizing. Yeah, because we glance over there, first thing you'd see lights like, okay, there's yeah. some houses or something. No. No. Is this moving? No, I knew right away it wasn't houses or anything. It was like too small. Yeah. It was. It looked like lanterns. Like I almost felt like I could see somebody walking through the mountains with lanterns that just disappeared and reappeared. I don't know. It was crazy, but. Well, here's a cemetery and somebody's working up here today. Oddly enough, I see some kind of. Well, and here, yeah, here's the cemetery in the church that is so popular with the hellhound or demon dog or Val Cruces story. And man, this is beautiful. It I would is. love to get a shot of that from the side. Okay. Um, well, maybe we can do that. Do that. And also, maybe try to get a little look at the church and the cemetery closer up here. But it's a tight squeeze. This is this is beautiful. It is. Um, what that says. It felt creepy out here at night, but it doesn't feel so creepy to me during the day. No. And obviously, we didn't see the hellhound, so. And that road that we just come from, I don't see how anybody could drive 60 or 70 miles an hour on no, it. No, that, that, that blew that story all to pieces. <laughs> that blew that story all to pieces, so. The story loses credibility, and so, yeah, not 70. It's hard to get to 17 miles an hour on that road. Exactly, but, yeah. Without losing, so. you go an embankment or something would happen. There's, it's almost logistically impossible, I mean. Yeah. But we will get out and take a look at this church as much as we can. Yes. Yeah, we thought we'd jump out here and show you a look at the cemetery and the church from this side angle that Melody was talking about. Such a just a gorgeous Isn't that beautiful? View of the, yeah. And the woods back there and yeah. oh my gosh. It's so out. pretty through here. A little barn over here. I can see why a missionary would see this area and want to stop here and make a town and set up a church. Well, like you it's said beautiful and tonight it was kinda of spooky, but man, it is beautiful and peaceful today. And yes. What you'd hope a church would be, just feel good about it. Yeah. Found the grave of Reverend William West Skiles. And he is the founder of this church. Deacon Monk Missionary. Yeah. October 12th, 1807 to December 8th, 1862. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes. And they really um, have kept this up or yeah. they've replaced an old one. Yeah, I don't know who keeps that That's church up. That's very nice. It's amazing. Amazing. Yes. I think you may stack with these far close up early. Yes. Yes. This is a fancy outhouse. Oh yeah. We I love it. it. I'm so excited they had this. Yeah. <laughs> Wide open still for, ready for service again. So this is an authentic old outhouse. And I know I teased in one video before that I've used a lot of outhouses in my time. So some of my family out at Grayson County had them. And one great aunt, she had hers for a while that that's all she had. And that's what we used. And also, my um, my babysitter had a church that he pastored in Council, Virginia, and it had an outhouse until I was probably about um, seven or so. And I remember always using the outhouse there. So this one doesn't have the. I'm uh, a little bit nostalgic about an outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it in the most uh, privacy, is it? No, it's not really in working order anymore. But you know, a lot of them have those little. <laughs> Moon crescent moon shapes on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a... I've never seen an actual one with that though. Okay guys, that'll wrap it up here from Valley Cruces. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this look and if you did give us the thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. That's great. And now I had to pan it up and give you another view of that church. It's so gorgeous. It? it is very pretty. Yes. We'll see you guys next time. See you down the road. Thanks. <laughs>